the fence. Come worship at the rivers. To learn and grow. Hi, we would like to welcome you to the rivers. Where your life will never be the same. I'm Pastor Don Givens. And I'm Pastor Susan Givens. And, and we, we would, would like to welcome you to come, come worship at the rivers. Amen, amen, and amen. Welcome to Rivers of Life Christian Center, Wednesday evening words of encouragement. Um, we thank God for you. We believe in God's best for you. We're encouraging you to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And I'm telling you, all these things will abound towards you. They will come upon you and overwhelm you. Saints of the Most High God, let me tell you something. The Lord Jesus Christ has provided for us, all of us, his body, everything that pertains to life and godliness. Saints, you're healed, you're healthy, you're strong, you're made whole, you have perfect health in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you do, you remember, you walk by faith and not by sight. Things are happening around us. These are not the things that we need to be concentrating on. We need to be concentrating on Jesus Christ. We put no trust in the arm of the flesh. If Jesus said he's provided, he's provided. And this is what needs to come out of our mouth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your great provision. I come short, no good thing. I walk uprightly. If Jesus told you that he's given you peace, and the Bible tells us that, the, the, that we have peace, that surpasses all understanding. You need to speak out of your mouth. Thank you, Father, for peace that surpasses all understanding. Even though everything around me seems to be sinking sand, everything around me seems to, seems to be falling apart, we stand on the sure word of God. We are, the saints, I'm here to tell you that things change and things change at the word of God, at the word of God. So saints, re remember, you know, the, the speak of your life, speak of your life. Let's speak of something like this. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for testifying to me with both signs, wonders, miracles, gifts of the Holy Spirit, fruit of the Holy Spirit, the mind of Christ. Oh yeah, oh yeah, see, our Father testifies to us, testifies on our behalf with signs, wonders, miracles, gifts of the Holy Spirit. These, this is ours today. We need to speak this over our life today. We are not those who are subject to the domain of darkness. No, 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 no. We've been transferred into the kingdom of his beloved son. Saints of the Most High God, I'm here to tell you that the word of God proceeding forth from your mouth will change your situation, circumstance, and condition. You have to be willing to fight. You have to be willing to stand, no matter what. I, I, I think our brother, our brother Job put it something like this. Though you slay me, I'll trust you. No matter how things look, you determine in your heart, you trust God. You trust God. And you let come forth from you. Heavenly Father, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. You let it come forth from your mouth. You, you, you don't need to be looking for someone else 
to perform the word of God for you. God is faithful to you. God is faithful to you. You speak the word over, over your life. You get in agreement with what God has said. I'm telling you, saints, God is faithful to you. And our Heavenly Father wants you to seek Him. Wants you to seek Him. You don't have to seek a, a, a man. You need to seek the Lord. The same uh, uh, holiness and, and goodness and mercy that the Lord has on someone else, He has on you. He has on you. God is good to you, saints. God is faithful. God is faithful. You, 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 he, you can't be moved by, by the things happening around you. Let me tell you something. You speak what God has said. When you speak what God has said, you are in agreement with the Lord. And let me tell you something. Nobody honors their promise like the Lord. Nobody honor their, honors their word like the Lord. And the Lord honors his word to you. So for those of you who are standing against sickness and disease, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. For those of you who are believing God for finances, in the name of Jesus Christ, be prosperous. For those of you who are dealing with all kinds of stress, in the name of Jesus Christ, be at peace. Saints, we are of God. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. And our God is the God of all flesh. All flesh yields to our God. The Bible teaches us that our God restores us in perfect health. The Bible teaches us that our God has re, uh, re, uh, renewed us, our spirits, day by day. Saints of the Most High God, we are, we are of God, little children, and greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. You do not get in agreement with anything in this world system because it's not a part of you. You are in agreement with the risen Christ with our Heavenly Father. Speak God's word over your life. Speak God's word over your life. You are holy. You are holy. You are sanctified and set aside for the use of our Heavenly Father. We are a, a brand new vessel in Christ Jesus. Saints, we must fight the good fight of faith. We must take hold of the eternal life to which we were called, for which we made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Saints, we have to engage in the contest. We have to, we have to go before God, speak God's word, pray, uh, uh, and, and just and obey what God has said. We have to engage in the contest. In the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal. No, 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 no. They're not natural. They're mighty through in God through the pulling down of strongholds. Saints, it's an intense battle. So don't be uh, pulled off course. Because the battle, the, 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 the fight gets, gets heated. The fight gets, gets uh, challenging. It's an intense battle, saints, but we overwhelmingly conquer. We destroy the works of 
ungodly spiritual forces. We destroy them completely and totally in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy the work of ungodly influences in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy the works of the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Thanks of the Most High God, we are of God. Saints, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. Once again, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. One more time. Read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word, and the word will manifest in your life. Saints, I know sometimes it seems as if you cannot put one foot in front of the other. Sometimes it seems as if the, 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 uh, everything is working against you. Saints, you step out, you put that foot in front of the other and you give thanks. You take that next step and you give thanks. You, 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 the, 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 there might be, be pain uh, uh, racking your body, you give thanks. You get, you get up and you go forth and you give thanks. You let your body know that, that it is an instrument of righteousness and you sow to the spirit and you reap eternal life. You win this battle, saints. You win this battle. Your faith does move the mountain. Absolutely it does. You might get some report telling you something other than what God says. You remind the report that the report is a lie. You speak what God says. The Lord, the, 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 the prophet Isaiah asked the question, who will believe our report? And your answer is, I believe the report of the Lord. I'm telling you saints, you, 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 you must you know, realize that you overwhelmingly conquer. You must. And that's, it's an intense battle, but you are greater than, than your foe. Far greater. Saints, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our Bible. We must obey the word. We must refrain from willful sin. We must, we must, we must. We must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our Bible. We must obey the word. We must refrain from willful sin. One more time. We must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regiment. We must read our Bible. We must obey the word. We must refrain from willful sin. And saints, if we practice these, we will never stumble. If we practice these, we will never stumble. Saints, we're still talking about stand. Stand, stand, saints, stand. We're talking about standing upright, standing fast. Stand in faith by obedience to God's word. We stand with the emphasis on standing firm. We stand, saints. We stand and we're fixed, unmovable in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. If you would go with me to Galatians chapter 5, we're going to read verses 1 through 6. Galatians 5, verses 1 through 6. 
The Bible says it was for freedom that Christ set us free. Therefore, keep standing firm and do not be subject again to a yoke of slavery. Hallelujah. Behold, I, Paul, say to you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no benefit to you. And I testify again to every man who receives circumcision that he is under obligation to keep the whole law. You have been severed from Christ. You are seeking to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For we, through the Spirit, by faith, are waiting for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision means anything but faith working through love. Amen? And, and we want to concentrate on Galatians chapter 5, verse 5 and 6. Look at this. For we, through the Spirit, by faith, are waiting for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision means anything but faith working by love. Amen? And we left off with talking about righteousness, righteousness. And we talked about how this is a, a character, a character or, or, or quality of being right with God through Jesus Christ, right with God through Jesus Christ, right with God through Jesus Christ. I can't emphasize that enough. This thing about being right with God is impossible unless it's through Jesus Christ. That's the only way. That's the only way. We talked about this, 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 this word. This word righteousness um, is a confirmation of the revealed will of God, and the revealed will of God is His word. The revealed will of God is his word. It's not something out of our imagination. It's not something out of the blue. It's not something out of the, out of the sky. It's not something that, that's based upon some type of, of, of feeling or some type of sense realm knowledge or something like that. This word, this word righteousness speaks of the, the revealed will of God and God and, and, and whatever and no 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 and the revealed will of God is manifested in his word it's manifested in his word you, you don't have to seek what God's will is you don't have to, to, to wait for God to reveal his will for you read his word and you will have his revealed will in righteousness in Christ Jesus. A lot of times we're, we're looking for something other than the Word of God. Let me tell you something, saints. When you obey God, the Spirit leads you. When you obey God, the Spirit leads you. The Spirit's not going to lead you by something other than the Word of God. And this is a problem for many of us. We, we're looking for something other than what God has said. We're looking for some type of sensation or some type of, 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 of feeling. We're looking for something that, that is um, almost ghostly. We're led by the Spirit of the living God. So I encourage you to read the Bible and obey the Word and watch the Word manifest in your life. Watch God's plan manifest, manifest in your life because this word righteousness speaks of being brought into right relationship with God, brought into right 
relationship with God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. This word righteousness. See, let me tell you something. The only way our relationship with God is going to be right is through Jesus Christ. It's not through your deeds. It's not through your actions. It's not through anything that we can do in and of ourselves. The Bible teaches us that our righteousness at best is as filthy rags. And so we're not trying to to get it, to 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 uh, get God to approve of us based upon what we do. You know, our righteousness is, is in Christ Jesus. Our relationship with God is in Christ Jesus. We seek a righteousness of faith, not a righteousness of our own. So saints, I'm, I'm here to encourage you to obey the word of God and realize that our relationship with God is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I, I encourage you to seek the face of the Lord. To seek the face of the Lord. Saints, we serve a good God and he's good to us. Look, saints, I'm going to have to stop there. Amen. And I'd like to invite those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. If that's you, would you pray a prayer like this with me? Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, save. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Amen. Amen. And then there are those of you who are apostate. I, I implore you with all my heart, with all love, turn away from your sins. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please turn to the Lord. Return to your first love. Return to the shepherd and captain of your soul. Return to Jesus Christ. If that's you, please pray a prayer like this with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I turn from my sin. I turn to you. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess my sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are faithful and you are righteous to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy on me. Amen. My next invitation is to invite you to go to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is Rules of Life Christian Center, Chesapeake, VA. And once again, our YouTube channel is Rivers of Life Christian Center, Chesapeake, VA. Go to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We thank you for your support. We are so grateful. Let's all work together. Listen, we're, we're the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of us. We're the body of Christ. Let's all work together to exalt the Lord. Let's all work together in the vineyard to win as many as we possibly can. I encourage you to invite your friends, your family, your co-workers, your neighbors, um, anyone you, you can to, to go to this YouTube channel and, and have yourself a 
Bible study get together and use these teachings in your Bible study. Use these teachings in your Bible study. We're all in ministry together. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. And there are those of you who've been in ministry and for whatever reason, you know, you, 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 your, your ministry has seems to have been stalled. Well, pick that ministry up again and go. Pick that ministry up again and go. And don't, don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about what people say. You obey the Lord Jesus Christ. The gifts and callings of God is without repentance. I encourage you to copy this link on every platform you have, to post it and repost it, to put it on your podcast. Let's go win as many as we can for Jesus Christ. My next invitation is to invite you to come to Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Once again, we have Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. We have a place here for you at Rivers of Life Christian Center. Let's come together as a body like the Lord told us to do, to exalt the Lord, to lift up the Lord. We come together to fellowship one with another. Come be a part of what God is doing at Rivers of Life Christian Center. We're waiting for you. We believe in God with you. Now, service times are Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Our service times are Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Our Wednesday service is online until further notice. Our Wednesday service is online until further notice. Visit us on the web. Our website is www.riversoflifecc.com. Once again, our website is www.riversoflifecc.com. I encourage you to go to the website. I encourage you to explore the website. I encourage you to take advantage of, of the uh, uh, encouraging, encouraging things that's on this website. I encourage you to pray with us. Let me tell you something, saints. It's time for you to start praying for yourself and praying for the body of Christ. It's, it's time for you to start realizing that the, the authority that you have in the body of Christ, the Lord wants to hear from you. The Lord himself wants to hear from you. It's time for you to, to set things aside and put God first. The Lord wants you to fast and, and to show him that uh, uh, from your heart how you have destroyed the works of the flesh. Saints, you don't need someone to pray for you. You need to pray. It's all right for someone to agree with you in prayer. That's a good thing. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's a good thing. Let me tell you something. That's not the only thing. Because no one, no one can pray and, and experience God's desire to hear from them like God desires to hear from you. So, you know, we, we, we're, we're, you know it's good for us to, to have somebody else pray for us. It's even better when we go to God uh, on our own initiative. 
He hears and he responds. So go to the website and I encourage you to pray. To pray. To pray. Um, go to this website and, and, and like I say, explore it. Explore it. Take advantage of all of the things that's out there. You know, there there's a section out there where we that's feed your faith. Go out there and feed your faith. Well, saints, um, I'm asking. So, so I have a request for you. I have a request for you. My prayer request to you is that you pray for all of us at Rivers Life Christian Center. Mention us in your prayers. Mention us in your prayers. Hold us up before the Lord. I covet your prayers. We covet your prayers. So I'm calling on all prayer warriors, intercessors, those who make supplication, petitioners, praisers, worshipers, and everybody. Let's pray. We need to spend at a minimum one hour a day before the Lord. At a minimum. At a minimum. We need to spend one hour a day before the Lord. It's time for us to discipline ourselves and seek God's face. Saints, let's call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's seek first the kingdom. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. The Bible teaches us man shall not live by bread alone, but on every word that proceeds forth from the mouth of God. Obey God's word, saints. Obey God's word. Saints, I have good news for you. Let your heart and your faith grab hold of this. Something good is going to happen to you this very hour, this very day. Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Come worship at the rivers. Thank you for watching tonight's words of encouragement. Come worship at the rivers.